Sean Spicer when asked about that around that time. Did you get a White House reaction or the president's reaction to the report that Seth Rich was emailing WikiLeaks before his murder? I don't, I'm not aware of, I, I generally, um, I don't get updates on DNC, former DNC staffers. I'm not aware of that. I don't even know the status of it in terms of D.C., um, but it, it would be highly inappropriate to do that. Uh, Christina, that's what we call a generalized denial because he didn't say I don't, I don't generally get updates. The most interesting part is him acknowledging that kind of thing would actually be inappropriate. Well, I think in this particular administration with this particular president, we know that they traffic in lies, in chaos, and collusion. And so this, if this were any other president, this would be a story that would last a week, a month. It would be on every single front page. However, with this president, we have Jared testifying in front of, you know, Senate committees. We have the president making outlandish comments to middle school boys at a jamboree. We have him going to Long Island making outlandish comments, essentially saying that the police should, you know, uh, collude and, and harm suspects. So every day there's something else thrown at the American public. And so in many ways, this administration is like a three-card Monty. We don't know where to look. And this is a story that we must actually stay on because... In, in political science, we talk about the media being the, the fourth wing of the government, mm -hmm. right? And so the executive, legislative, judicial branches, and the media is the fourth branch. The media is not actually listed in the Constitution as the fourth branch. The president is listed mm -hmm. as one of the three branches of government, and so we have to hold him accountable. And it's the, it's the media's job to make sure that they're not trafficking in fake news, but this president clearly does not understand or respect the boundaries of his job, and we know that he likes to meddle. He likes to meddle with his son, father of five, right? He likes to meddle with others who are trying to do their jobs because he fundamentally doesn't get the gravitas of the office. Mm. And so when you have something like this, where he's just like, well, I mean, you know, he's talking to different people. He's making sure, you know, a story gets out there because he loves Fox. He was just having dinner with executives from Fox and media personnel from Fox. So he wants them to be his extra wing because he feels like people aren't sort of sticking up for him the way they should. But this is something that actually could get him in a lot of trouble. The problem is, tomorrow we know that it'll probably be some other story that's just as egregious, just as chaotic, well, and just harmful well, lucky, for American democracy. Lucky for you and people who care about this story, it's not tomorrow, it's tonight. 